Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Void and Meddler for more fun times with Finn. We are here in the subway, which is right outside the cinema where we woke up after basically tripping on some more memories. Um, that's all we really know. Let's find out what's at the other end of this, and then I guess we can also talk to this cop, Jensen. I don't know if that's a reference to uh, Adam Jensen, but no, Adam never had a... Well, he had a beard, but he never quite looked that way, I don't think. All right, let's... Let's talk to him, I guess. Ben, he looks like an old army vet. I'm sure our conversation will be adorable. Good evening. I have a minor problem. I'm lost, and my pass doesn't seem to work on this line. Can you help? Jensen, the line operator is a new guy, and he's been changing the rules around here. One of them is a different subscription model from the rest of the city. Subscription model? Finn, so you're telling me I have to pay for a second subscription to use the same service? Jensen, it's not that there was a brand split, so technically it's not the same service. So I'm afraid you'll have to get a second subscription if you want to travel around the entire network. Damn, my funds are non-existent, out of the question. Okay, look, that's enough. Damn, my funds are, my funds are non-existent. Damn, my funds are non-existent. Can't you let me pass? Jensen, why would I do that? Finn, I, I don't want to be around here at your side all night, trust me. Or you don't want me to be around here. Jensen, get in line, I get harassed by idiots every five minutes. Then idiots? You compare them to me? Listen, bucko. Jensen, okay, okay, calm down, you're already giving me a migraine. It's not by doing that that <laughs> I'll have a change of heart, I won't let you pass. Well, don't we have... yeah, we have this ID. Would this ID help you? Finn, actually, uh, I've lost my pass. I know I'm, I'm clumsy, but I've got my passport. I, I think I think you can verify my account and find my pass on there with it. Jensen, here. Let me have a look. Mm. Yeah, you look like a different, uh, a bit different from your photo, but everything seems in order. Your subscription was paid. I'll give you a new pass. Have a safe trip. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get on the subway. Well... Would have been nice if it didn't leave without me. Oh, check it out! It's, it is a new line. So this is the line we, we played in episode one. Now we're in episode two. So... We're at St. Howard. Can we go to Long Dead now? Ben, have you ever seen London on Fire? I haven't. No, okay, fine. T-Wolf. Although we really probably should have... Hmm. But we'll see. Finn. I don't like this place. Everything is fake, built cheaply, the lines, the cables, the lights. Disgraceful. A pale copy, a distant dream or what a real city should be. The people who built it did not understand its essence. Uh, bullet bar, blah blah blah. You know what I want to do first though, before we even do this? Back in the subway. Uh, part du, right? That's where our house is? I want to go home. Because last time, well, both episodes of last time started with somebody in the house, right? And in the meantime, we can also see if these guys have something more to say to me. Giraffe lady? No, nope, don't disturb her. Okay, is this guy gonna... Ignore us still? Hey. Hey! Okay, fine, it's the same thing. Never mind. Let's go. What's our good buddy Bilal? Does he have something he wants to push on us this time? Hey, Bilal. Finn, tell me, Bilal, did I imagine that, or did you mention a thing called Black Faster earlier? Bilal, exactly. Why, interested? Tell me you are. Oh, please, tell me you are. Then don't get too excited. I, I just need a little something to help me. The night just keeps getting worse. Bilal, trust me, it can't do nothing but help. With this, you'll forget all the insignificant faces, every useless soul, all of them will vanish. Like magic. The best thing about it is that you'll be in complete control. No chances of you running off and doing something you'll regret. Finn, hmm, no side effects you mean? Well, I'll, how to put it, if you stay reasonable, there shouldn't be any problems. Finn, alright, alright, can I get a sample in the name of our friendship? Well, I'll, our friendship? Oh, fuck, of course, Finn. I'd do anything for you, you know it. If you need anything else, please let me know. I got some really, really 
Creepy tabs. We're not going to use that now, because who the heck knows? Maybe we'll, uh, like, help somebody pass out or something. Okay, let's run back home. And uh, we'll see. Last time in Act 2, right? So this is Episode 2, which means Acts 3 and 4. But in Act 2, we found Sophie in our apartment. And Sophie gave us... Um, Sophie was like a one-night stand, I want to say. And Sophie gave us, like, some sort of thing. Well, you're still here? Well, it is the same evening, isn't it? You got anything to say for yourself? Sophie, I can't handle this anymore, Finn. Too many people come and go in this apartment. Some of them even leave me things. Here, before I forget, my head's gonna explode. Please, don't say a word. What the heck did I just get? An aluminum ball. No. Uh, hacker machine, synthetic food, memo. No, memo is how to operate the camera, right? Headphones, anything? Finn, there's but a strange sizzle, a dead signal, a bit frightening. How does it work? There might be no music stored in it. This might be just a receptor. I must be at the wrong place. All right, well, it's not our house. Quickly just walk past over here. Nope, there's nothing else. Sophie didn't do anything to my bathroom, did I? Uh, did you? Because that would not be cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. Nope, it's all clean. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's... Hmm. Now I guess we can go back to the red line. All I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that everything was copacetic at home. <laughs> and since it is... Let's go run back to the metro and hit the red line. And we'll go to that first place, that like artificial, you know, fake city or whatever it is. Alright, well, well, get out of the way. There we go. Go to T-Wolf and let's start from there. Right, what do we got? Scorpion Gang, a hobo, Grace and Hope, Stranger, Rabbits, Drinker. All right, well, let's go over here where there are no people. Scorpion Gang, huh? Ooh, there's an entrance into a, like a warehouse or something. So let's take a look at this trash. Maybe there's something we could pull out of there. A cat. Finn, a suicidal refrigerator. I wonder if the people up there were aiming for somebody or if they just wanted to get rid of it with no hassle. I won't go ask them. Oh, somebody tossed the fridge, I see. Monorail? Building. Finn, you can hear people yelling, children screaming, the balconies are full of junk. Build a family, what a dream. And... Oh, monorail, here we go. Finn, the aerial subway is much more expensive and expensively moderated, hence, it's not my favorite choice of transportation. There are just a few stations anyway, since it's an express train. Interesting. Uh, monorail, monorail. All right, let's... Before we go inside, let's talk to, like, the Scorpion Gang and all these people, and then we'll check out what the heck this building is. Ben, seriously, you gotta run a little, please. Finn, there are people you want to avoid, and then there's the Scorpion Gang. They're everywhere in this part of town. I always avoid dealing with them. Yeah, but you're still going to talk to them first, right? Then, out of the question, there are moments when we must learn to stay quiet. Yep, I said that. Alright, fine. Fine, let's talk to this friendly hobo. And a green thing? What the hell? Finn. They were lovers, him and the wakame salad right beside him. He stays with him no matter what the circumstances. It's quite beautiful. Hobo? Finn, he hasn't said anything for a while. What about you, man? This is, seems to be like a former human. Finn, he used to be human, but too much hormones and lichen will do this to you. Can you speak? I don't believe he can talk. Okay, fine. Do we have anything for you? No. Not really. Rabbit people? Finn, a regular, clearly. I doubt it's his first drink. Well... I could talk to him, listen to him babble on for hours about how everything should change quickly after the next drink. I could also be on my way and figure out what I need to do. A little passive-aggressive there, Finn. Oh, and a pharmacy we can go to. Cool. Alright. Rabbits. 
rabbits that run the bar. Finn, rabbits. The bartenders that I probably know the least in the city. Yeah, but let's talk to him. Finn, no, no. I know I'm going to be mean. I don't have time to hear those people complain about me again. Uh-huh. What about Stranger? Finn, if you don't know where you are, good luck. Those rabbits aren't the most helpful. Okay. Does he speak? Finn, it's already hard enough for him to focus as it is. Sharing my knowledge with him would probably make his head explode. Didn't Sophie say something? Can you use the aluminum ball? Nope. Fine. Grace and Hope. Grace and Hope. Finn, Hope and Grace. They only talk about music. They have a showgaze band that's... Shoegaze? Shoegaze? Whatever. Band that's not bad. Budrillard's Eyes. Finn, talking about music is one of my passions, but I think I'm wasting too much time around here. I don't like being around this place. Okay, let's hit the pharmacy and then the other building on the other side, then. Finn, behold the devastating ray of lights in the Church of Pills. Pray the sacrosanct prescription. Look down on your ticket and hope for your number to be called as soon as possible. Welcome to Pharma 6th, number 6998. I avoid this place as much as I can when things are on sale. But this is the only place I can get the hormone substitutes I adulterated and sell back in the street. Trust me, it's better that way. The place is full tonight. I don't know how all those people stand without going postal. Oh wait, I know. They're all addicted to the drugs legally delivered by the state. Sure, change your life, but let us choose for you. What a shame. They're all lost between simulacra and simulation, and I don't pity them. If I can make my own choice, anyone can. Don't blame me if they're just too lazy to think by themselves. We got Azius. Someone back here. Laxatives and glitters. Pharmacists. The line. Pharmacists. Diapers. Okay, so let's just walk over here. Is this? Is there more to the store than just this? TV screen? Nope. Oh. Alright, let's talk to Azius. Or Azius. Finn. His look is particular, his attitude as well. I had yet to see him around here. Okay. Ozias, I've been looking at you hanging around here for a while now. You better get in line if you want to get to the register one day. Finn, thanks for the tip, but I, I don't need help from a stranger. Ozias, you don't strike me as someone who likes to wait. That's all. If that's the case, I can help you. Finn, help me. You know I could sell you everything they have here, but better... As is, oh really? That's interesting. As soon as I saw you walk in, I felt something about you. You walk too fast. You look too determined to be one of them. If you have no need for anything this place has to offer, then what are you doing here? Then, well, everyone needs raw materials every now and then, no? You can call me if you want something else, other than the shit they sell in this pharmacy. As is, why not? I could use your services. What have you got on you? Acid chewing gum, nothing, identity. Um, got some acid chewing gum. Then acid flavored chewing gum, homemade, for a psychedelic breath and crazy hallucinations that last half a day. Ozzy is hilarious, but I don't need that at the moment. Okay. Do you need this ID thing? Ozzy I thought we were done talking. What about identity? Finn, let's say I can help you if you have any questions about your identity. Asius, what do you mean by that? Finn, I don't know if you noticed, but the hormones they give you here are not really effective, as if, th as if something was making them useless. Asius, be a bit more precise. Finn, am I beginning to sound a tad more interesting? Let's say I have a way of improving what I get here legally, making it more effective and less harmful. I can't tell you more. As is, hmm, well, we'll have a big problem. Firstly, you're not really careful. Finn, that's me, all right. Finn, nice to meet you. As is, secondly, I suggest you trafficking. You're playing with fire. You're just spreading the shit in the streets. The network has been trying to put an end to this for months, and thank God, looks like we finally found the source of this problem. Finn, the network? What are you saying? They only help out those who can't afford a doctor's appointment by giving them something better than what they would get if they could afford it here. 
Ozius, evidently you don't get any profits from all that. I don't do this for the money. Yeah, and I don't do this for the money. Finn, I don't do this for the money. It's me, the philanthropist that hates everyone. The misanthropist who wants to help everyone. Paradoxical, isn't it? It's the only thing I like about myself. Azius, you might have good intentions, but it doesn't change anything. We must stop the distribution of this product by any means necessary. I think you should inform yourself about who we are. You could learn a thing or two. Finn, I don't need anyone holding my hand. Azius, it's starting to get pretty tense for us. We can no longer go out without, risking the, uh, without the risk of getting caught or killed. A friend of ours disappeared. They still haven't put the blame on us. She must have kept her mouth shut, and if she's dead, I know they haven't found anything at her place. I know she could be a bit... secretive when she wanted. Finn, what the hell are you talking about? Azius, what are you trying to do? What you're trying to do? We thought about it before. We were ready for it. We don't traffic hormones. We have access to pure materials, to natural hormones, but word travels fast. We must be careful. And so you talk to the first corner, talk to the first corner a comer at a state pharmacy. As is, I follow my instincts, but I don't tell you any more about the gender hacker club. Listen, you could join our group. I think you're attra uh, you'd attract less attention than we do. Try investigating the disappearance I was talking about. The girl's name is Ruin. Her apartment is at T Wolf. I think she was a regular at Paradise Regained. You know it, Finn. I know it, but what's in it for me? As is, we're a group of engaged activists. You have everything to gain. We help anyone that feels isolated, misunderstood, questioning the binary codes of our society. We're extremely well supplied in pure drugs. And, judging by your look, you love the music that plays over there. It's a cool place for all the wire freaks and fans of extreme pleasures. Finn, are you sure it's not a student club? I'll see what I can do. I'm already on a mission in a way, tonight. I'll follow my instincts as well. All this could maybe help me. Asius, I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you can find your way to us, I'm sure you'll find what you need. Finn, we'll see. I have a tendency to expect the worst. But I feel like I'm on the right track. Okay. Oh, and he's gone. Cool. Uh, da, 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 da. There were diapers. Diapers? Finn, diapers. Edible? Another product of Ubu. Ugh, their products are a little weird, but I can't deny their eco-friendly nature. Next step, a big promotional campaign to remind us to share needles. We wouldn't want to waste. <laughs> Can we grab them? I won't walk around with that. Alright, let's talk to this pharmacist, maybe? Finn, a salesman of the pharmacy. I see him often. He doesn't know my real name. I'm not registered here under my real identity. Pharmacist, hmm, Huxley. So nice to see you again. Finn, you should put a fidelity card system in place. I would win for sure. Pharmacist, definitely. What can I do for you? Finn, is there any credit left on my premium account? Pharmacist, I'll check. That right now looks like there is no credit left. Do you want to recharge it? Um... Yes, please. Finn, yes, but I don't have any money. Can we come to another arrangement? Pharmacist, unfortunately, no. You know our policy. Uh, is there a profit? I'm impatiently awaiting your return among us. Don't forget that the premium account offers possibilities and advantages that can't be overlooked. Oh, I guess that's it. I thought maybe the other option, but okay, fine. Weed aisle TV screen. Let's look at the TV screen real quick, and then we'll check out the weed aisle. A screen. Yeah, thanks. Can't talk to that. No? Okay, let's see the weed. Finn. Herb section. Specifically hippie shit. Although their strawberry amphetamine tea is not horrible. Okay. What about the line? Finn. They're all waiting in line. It would drive me insane. I always avoid this kind of situation. You want to talk to them, Finn? Then there are too many. They all look amorphous. All right, you want to talk to that pharmacist? Because he's got a suit and tie on. Finn, that's the salesman that takes care of the admissions to the different member accounts offered by the pharmacy. Most people don't 
can't afford something as simple as a two-year plan with no dedicated payment card and with the obligation to exclusively use this pharmacy only. I don't have a lot of money, but with luck, Mr. Huxley, or Mademoiselle Huxley, that lets me borrow her identity as a tad more in her pockets. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Pharmacist, Madam Huxley, I saw that your premium account expired. Do you wish to renew your subscription? Then no, not today. I was just... Pharmacist, you were just visiting? That's adorable. We have a lot of new arrivals. That might be interesting to you. We've received a brand new type of hormone. You just have to renew your account for that. Finn, I'll do it later. Promise. Okay. Um, glitters and laxatives. Fine, sure, why not? Finn, laxatives and glitters. It says for recreational use only. Hey, who would take this by obligation anyway? Okay. Glitters for recreational use? Okay, fine. So, let's do this. Let's at least walk in here and see if we can find, well, at least see the next sort of screen, and we'll call it there. I'm assuming this has something to do with the murder, because if she lived at, um... Is it T... It's not T-Bone. This isn't the name of the, the stop, but it, basically she lived at the stop. The... what the guy wanted us to actually in investigate. And I'm assuming, since this is a residential block right here, she probably lived in here. So let's go check it out. Finn, I hear something. A strange buzzing sound, almost hypnotic. A switch. Okay, well, we'll check out the mysterious switch next time. Uh, and we will continue on our quest. There are plenty of more stations on the red line which we haven't tried, which some of them I'm sure we're going to be able to visit. And then we probably should, once we exhaust that, go back and visit some of the old locations from the green line just to see if anything has changed, like Bilal, for example, gave us something. And so did Sophie. So, yeah, we got plenty of stuff to do. This game is definitely opening up a little bit here and there. And uh, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about the game, you want to speculate about the story, or you think I'm overlooking something, or could be doing something differently, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Blah, blah, blah.